Oh yeah, we were fleeing the town. And then we had to go to another town. What town was it? Oh, right. we have wow this is kind of like a an area a giant coconut Hey, there's a new weapon. No sign of him, just as predicted. Not true, I sense something. I think he must be nearby. This is pointless. There's no way he'll show himself. Why are you so sure? To him, there are only island folk and then everybody else. We're no different from the Imperial Command from his point of view. So we have to prove him in some way that we are not his enemy, but that might not be so easy. We should at least give it a try though. How? I'll go ahead alone. You guys wait here for now. No, are you crazy? What if something happens to you? I'm not worried. I know you guys always have my back. A monument, huh? It reminds me of the one back home. I guess the islanders come here to pray for their loved ones and their land. No! Don't touch that! Finally, you show up. Am I gonna have to duel him? Get away from here if you value your wife! I'm not going... Just yet, there's something I wanted to talk to you about first. We have nothing to talk about. Go or I go I'll kill you. If you really wanted to kill me, you would have done it already, am I right? I'll turn around, but stay there, okay? I want to know why, why you take it upon yourself to protect the Islanders. Because my life is made up of people, prayers, protecting villagers is why I exist. I don't know much about how monsters are born and all that, but it seems to me that you're a little different from all of the others. My life is a prayer for Sa Salni. The very fact of my existence is proof that its people exist, that's why I mustn't die. I owe my life to Salni, that makes me different from other monsters. Do you mean you were born from the memories of the old, of the villagers' prayers? Memories? Anyway, I think I understand the reason for your actions now, which makes this all the more important. Instead of fighting the Imperial Command, you have to put the wives of the villagers first and hide out somewhere with them. What I do is for me to decide. You do as you see fit. Just don't get in my way. The villagers all want you to go with them. That is, that's my bet. You want to protect them, right? Then try to hear them. Try to hear their voices with your heart. Try to understand, brute strength isn't the only way to protect people. There are other ways. I I can hear them. I can hear the voices of the villagers. They're telling me to trust this boy. You have to live, Deanto. Live and make sure people's prayers are met with hope. 
All right, but I'm doing this on my own, not because you told me to, understand? That's fine with me. Come on, let's go find the others. Canada. Hi, Luminia. Hi, everybody. Look, Canada, there's smoke rising up from the village again. Let's hurry back to the village. It seems the command is starting attacking again. They'll have replenished their forces and their attack will be more vicious than before. Of that, we can be sure. There's no time to waste. Let's go, D'Anto. Do not order me around. Nada, are you sure you're safe to be around? I am not in the mood for any surprise attacks, you know. It's okay, you can trust him. He wants to put a stop to the Imperial Command as much as we do. Then let's hurry. I got a new party member now? Woo woo! Ooh, a chest. Great one acquired. Ah, uh, where is he? There's gotta be more shit here. Hush memory. Hush little baby, don't say a word. Nothing yet. Three elixirs. What are these guys protecting? I don't ever remember being up in here. Or was I up here? Oh yeah, I was up here. I think we got most of the stuff now. I wonder to make stuff easier if I can upgrade my shit. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, will we ever see the end of the monsters and soldiers fighting? What else is left for the command to take from us, I ask you? The Anto, they're wrecking our village. I'll take care of it. You go find somewhere safe to hide. Are you ready? It's time. We're gonna stop the Imperial Command. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Not the bees! Ow. Damn, 180. Her damage went up so much.
Well, I'm not these things. Good heavens, look at that. Just how many of them are they intending to bring in here? Let's take down as many as we can. This should give the villagers time to get away. Oh, come on. There we go. Yarda, Boku Motsuko. I would love to have another turn here. Nah, she only had like 50 health anyway. Hey, hey, hey. This is the perfect opportunity. Fuck, if he attacks me, this is gonna suck. Hey, look at that one. He doesn't look like a regular soldier. Hmm. There's presence. I sense something. It's very odd. I don't feel any sense of hostility from him. Brashed by commanders like you. Oh, the, the pain. The humiliation. Not a day goes by when I don't think of it. Hmm. Did we really do something so terrible to him? Well, I, for one, don't have any memory of it. Sounds like unjustified resentment to me. Grah! Yes, that's it. Gears, go get them. Fetch me their heads of those dirty traitors. この力で戦いを有利にする。この力で傷ついた翼を癒せ。助かったよ。行くよ。俺がやる。本当をリスクの盾。こう来た。仕留める。やれる。行ける。覚悟してよね。<笑> Oh, wow, 300? Oh, wow, he tried to get me right at the end there. Okay, we whomped him there. That was... Whew. When momentum mode is activated on a skill or a counter, Spirit Knight sublimination may occur after battle. Which allows the effect of momentum Spirit Knight to be added to the skill counter... Although the effect isn't as strong once it's added, it'll occur without the need to activate momentum mode. Even after all those hits, he's still going? Huh? I wonder if that's the kid with the bow. I am not letting him get away. Stop, Vaughn. 
Why do you stop me? Because can't you see even General Tridius has cleared out along with all of his soldiers. Something's coming. I can feel it. You too, Deontu. I think this is... Give me time to heal. So the time has finally come. Aim for the area of the Lost Forest northeast of the village. We'll wipe out those monsters on Sanley. Ready? Activate the Terramite weapon! Take aim and fire! No, no! What, 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 what the? What's that light falling from the sky? This is bad, really bad. Everyone listen, head for the well. Everyone hide it inside the well quickly, there's no time. What, what's going on? Just do what Arbaro says, if we don't hurry we're all done for. Oh my. What is this? We have those command pigs pulled out of their sleeves this time. Is everybody all right? It looks like we all made it. Heavens, that was close. This is insanity. Everything is gone. I can't sense anything. It's not just the monsters that have gone either. It's everything. Everything that was lost too. And all the people other than us. All of the villagers gone. How could they do such a thing? Grah! Everyone's gone. Disappeared. Their bodies. Their memories. They can never come back. What beast people can be? Why would anybody create such a harmful weapon? How many times will people have to make the same mistakes before they realize? Marvelous and even better result than we hoped for. Congratulations, Lord Zemrode. This is the day to be remembered. Do you mean to tell me that, that abysmal failure looks like a success for you? Failure, but Lord Zemrod. The tech division told me it would only exterminate the monsters. Only the monsters, but look around. Everything's gone. Everything. Those stupid, stupid scientists. Let's return to the capital. We don't have any business here any longer. I know it's tough, but you have to go on living, Dianta. You have to keep on going so the hopes of the people in Stanley can live on. You have to put your pain behind you. You still have something to protect, right? Oh, I see now. Dianto is embodiment of all the hopes in Stanley, isn't he? Dianto, you are one of the few rays of hope this world has left. Same as Kanata here. Same as Kanata? Yes, Kanata is another ray of hope for this world. Chera? Well, it looks like somebody has finally started to appreciate our Kanata. Hmm. <laughs> Dianto. Why don't you come with us? We'll return hope to this world, or try to, anyway. Dianto. I will live on, live on with the feelings of the Stanley people forever in my heart. I know I have to change the world to protect Saint Selny. I know too that it's impossible alone, so I'll give it a try at this journey of yours. I'll go along with you so I can protect Stanley even better. I'm glad to hear it. Dianto has joined your party. Uh, 
Nada, I have a suggestion. Go ahead. I hate to admit it, but the Empire is extremely powerful. It's a limited to resistance we can put up. The proof lies here all around you. We've seen that kind of light before. Do you think it could be... Maybe, no, definitely, you're right. They used Terramite. We saw how Terramite extinguishes everything, even things that are lost. They must utilize the characteristics of Terramite for that weapon of theirs. They developed technology to produce those Terramite weapons in bulk. Well, you can be sure they have shown no hesitate in using them. Not just the monsters that Terramite wipes out, but all memories too. If we could talk to the Empire directly, we might be able to put a halt to this. But I guess that as long as Zero Mode's there, won't be a simple matter. So my suggestion is how about we try putting, paying the kingdom of Grasia a visit. Grasia? I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere before. It's the only nation that can stand up to the Empire. If we can get them to help us, it would be a big step in a hopeful direction. Although admittedly, it's pretty big if. I'm flabbergasted. Why? That's the first time I've ever heard you come up with a positive suggestion. Watch <laughs> or you'll be uninvited to Gracia. Hmm, I, he I hesitate to give any opinion. I'm afraid I'm not as well versed in currently world affairs. What do you think of the idea, Shara? Honestly, I think we should get our hope. We shouldn't get our hopes too high. Gracia is a big country, powerful as it once was. Moreover, I'm not sure it's a great nation, like, helping us. We can actually on our side, it might be possible, even with willing to gamble on that possibility. Sure. Alright guys, I gotta do a quick... Be a quick second here, make sure my thing still works. We're good. So I, all right, understood. In that case, Gracia it is. Bam, we'll do just as you suggest. Most of the continent is to the east of Gracia territory. Let's sail the ship in that direction and find a place to land when we get close. I'm wondering if there's going to be any items or something here. Doesn't look like it. Now it's going to be a giant crater. Yep. At least I didn't blow up my ship. Can we cut through here? There's a little village just past here. It's far enough that it's not under the Empire's military control so we can rest there. As long as it's not lost, that is. That reminds me, Obaro. You started to say something when we were fighting Zemrode. Things get lost because of the monsters. I guess that's one way of thinking about it. But still, if you let us defeat the monsters, we can get their memories. And with those memories, we can make things reappear. But the Empire's logic makes no sense. After all, the cause of all this is... Faro, you know something. Tell us. Well, you see, it's my theory that the moon has something to do with the lost phenomenon. The moon, you mean the one in the sky? That sounds like an old fairy tale. It's no more, no mere fairy tale. This world uh, repeats a cycle of creation and destruction, the likes of which is beyond imagining. I believe that the moon plays a role in that cycle. Hmm. I never heard of such loaded rubbish in my life. I have no proof of it, of course. 
but I was lost long ago and revived in this era after a long, long time. While I was lost, however, I sensed them. I sensed the moon's memories. A deep sense of loneliness and grief, and yet the tiniest bit of warmth and hope. Somehow that having an influence on this world's destruction and rebirth, that's what I feel and what I believe. So the moon is sad, huh? Is that what you're telling us? This is a stupid waste of time. So what then? The moon is having some kind of temper tantrum or something? Maybe you were having a dream uh, or a hallucination while you were lost. Ever think of that? I cannot deny that's a possibility. It's not that I'm doubting you, Baro. It's more like, well, I just wonder if the moon would really do something like that. That sounds so ruthless. All of those lies, people with thoughts and feelings, instead of making them all vanish, there must have been something else that could have been done. I understand what you're saying, Luminia. If the moon's really doing all this, I just want, wanted to hear what you just said. Making the whole world disappear is just too extreme. The moon wouldn't do that. It wouldn't unless there was some kind of special reason. If it's hope that's needed, maybe we could somehow be that new hope. Maybe then the moon would stop. I can only speak for myself, but I believe it might work. You see, even now the moon still continues to hold out hope. Come on, you people. Can we cut the nonsense and face the reality for a minute? We've wasted enough time on this crazy talk. So you're saying that as long as the moon is there, things will continue to get lost? So then... Are we supposed to destroy the moon or something? See how stupid this conversation is? A total waste of breath. Right now we have to do what we can do. Somewhere along the way, we'll find the truth. And to do that, we have to get past our top. We get some help from Gracia. That's what we need to focus on right now. All right, enough chit chat. Let's move on. Oh shit, the Imperial Army. Hey Ben, I thought you said this area was under... Quiet, keep your mouth shut. They're burned out on this one. There's no way they're out here anyway. Wouldn't be out here either if it wasn't for that damn buckle tank business. Keep your eyes peeled. If we capture them, not only can we get a medal, but there's to be a sweet reward in it for us. Looks like they sent shoulders after us. Did I take them out? No, there might be more of those th than those three. If we make a racket, they'll call him back up. We might have more than what we can handle. You think we might even get a special promotion and become generals? We'll split the reward, but as for the medal, that's first come, first serve. Are they gone? Yeah, but we better be careful just in case. Do I need to heal? Oh, we're good. All right, let's head up the ladder. Really nothing there? The fuck? 
That was weird. We got a ladder there. Oh, a hammer. Bring the hammer down. Let's try, uh... Try him out. What do we got in here? We can, it looks like we can go over there, but apparently not. So we got over here first. So someone Way after. Exotic Fest. All right, new area. Oh, fishing. Should have healed. Wait, somebody's there. It's Commander Galdra. I've been waiting for you, Kanata. Let's see if she's uh, friendly or not friendly. Are your guards weighing an ambush somewhere close by? You don't need to worry, I'm here alone. Even though it was just for a short time, you people are under my command. 
I should settle things with you by myself. Settle? After helping the Twilighters escape, you engaged in sabotage against the Imperial Command of Sanley. I wonder why you committed such a reckless offenses, but I suppose there's no point in even asking. Because we learned the truth. The truth about the inhumane war Giganti is waging. The truth about the terrible weapon you unleashed. Not only did you snuff out the lives of countless endless people, but you erased the memories which we needed to restore what was lost. It was a painful decision that Lord Zemrod was forced to make, in order to return peace and order to the world. Even if you destroy all the monsters, that won't restore anything that's been lost. And the Empire's Terramite weapon wiped out everything. Now we don't have what we need to bring things back. I didn't come here to talk. In truth, I regret this, Kanata. Commander Galdra. Alright, I guess we're fighting. ここは敵の力を削いでおけ。私が行こう。行くよ。狙ったものは逃がさない。行くよ。まずいな。本当は律する風。覚醒を呼ぶ炎。アーティファクト効果に変化が。僕の番だね。行くよ。<笑> Oh wow, that was a big dick hit. Let's see what Rumble does. きっちり守れば、まとめてあたれ。やれ、行こう。動きについてくれる。行くよ。行ける。逃げるなら今のうちだぞ。ごめんね。あとはお願い。<笑> Yep, sounds good, Jeff.